It's day two. I'm here with Caden again. We're not going to talk about his overalls. <laughs> <laughs> So Comfy, we're going to take out the radiator and basically just cut off or unbolt whatever the whole front end just to make it easier because we don't care about the condition of the Z4. We just want the motor out as easy as possible. Uh, so to save ourselves some hassle, yank, that's gone. Um, now we just got to figure out uh, a couple of like harness wires, uh, get those all unplugged, uh, a couple of coolant hoses left still. Uh, what else we got? Uh, I think the the AC compressor, it's got some hard lines. There's that, still some hard yeah, lines. Yeah, that's, that's to... going to be an annoying. You know, I'm thinking, honestly, I want to replace all the hardware, though. Go all stainless, you know? Right. Make her sexy. All right, we're going SEMA build now. We're not going SEMA build. We're going practical street court. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's certainly not going to be that. Oh, no, wait, because it has a solid uh, plate on the top and the bottom. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, resident strong boy back at it again. <laughs> yeah, I'll we'll around, okay? Milwaukee boys, cry your hearts out. <laughs> <laughs> Milwaukee boys rising up right now. Yeah, that works. Cool. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. That's good stuff. <laughs> I was kind of expecting it to just fly off in the one hit. My gosh darn hands. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, bro. All right, good. Oh. A little snack for later. Oh, I got it in my mouth. <laughs> How many connectors does a radiator need? Right? This is bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. I did not hit her. It's not true. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. Oh, hi, Mark. That is a big ass radiator, dude. Man, boy, she be thick. All right, radiator's out. Front end's cut, and now we're gonna cut off the uh, whole front radiator support. So, start grinding. Dude, the cordless grinder is kind of. It's very bad. Yeah. Wait, you need a new battery. Yeah, I definitely need a new battery. You're spitting fast. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey. Chill out, bro. I was too focused on the grind. I'm kind of a Sigma male. <laughs> You know, this kind of sucks to do to my childhood car. <laughs> like, honestly, this is, it's, uh, I've done all this so far and none of it hurt, but this is the point where I'm like, oh, wow. This is like the point where you're definitely not going back. Yeah, no more. You want me to, you want me to do that for you? No. Feel free to visit uh, www.sweatystrongboys.net. <laughs> Come on by for a good time. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, you, hey, you want to hey. keep, don't smack the hey, engine, hey, 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 unless you want to replace the whole uh, front drive. That's fair. Dude, imagine a sick anodized Ooh. purple pulley kit, though. Okay, you had me, and then you lost me at the purple pulley. Imagine a uh, sweet, uh... Red. Yeah, red. red. Anodized red. Anodized red, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking. Honestly, that makes the job look like way less intimidating because it's just like the motor's right there. Okay, yeah. just rip it out. It's like a hot just, dog in a hallway. I, I, look, I can just, I can just <laughs> this thing. Boom, we're done. All right. 
<laughs> Boom bang. Oh, you know what? For the uh, for the AC compressor, this is actually super clutch. Yeah, I could take that out easy now. All right. I got it. <laughs> what the? F <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what I said. <laughs> Who wears chains on their neck? Is it Vin Diesel? Is it I like Fast and Diesel. Furious or something, or is it uh, <laughs> The Rock? I think The Rock does too. I, I think all of them do. All right. Well, anyways, we're looking like one of those dudes right now. We just picked up a chain from Lowe's. That way. That's the motor mount. <laughs> that way we can uh, get the uh, engine hooked up to the hoist. Uh, Caden's undoing the motor mounts right now. Although, oh, okay, yeah, we're fine. Oh, nice. Yeah, easy. All right, so I'm gonna hook these up and uh, we're uh, ready to pull the engine, I think, right? Oh, we, oh, actually, I think we, no. What? <laughs> My nut. <laughs> I dropped my nut. Wait, why didn't I think of that sooner? What? I just tell you what to do, and you do it. <laughs> Not me. Look at my hands. What am I getting them all dirty for? You spin fast. This ain't my project. <laughs> Milwaukee boys, cry your heart out. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man, this thing needs some Cialis. On what? The header in the transmission tunnel. The header in the transmission? No, the transmission's hitting the tunnel. The header's stuck on. Sorry. You want to get out from under this so we can rumble it around a little? Yeah. Oh shit, this jack stand isn't even holding the car. <laughs> Top 10 scariest things I've heard today. So push this way? Yeah. Whoa. Uh, I got an idea. Oh, I see where the header's touching. It's just a heat shield that it's touching on, though. Yeah, and the heat shield's against, uh... Great. No more going underneath the car. Yeah, on God. Also, careful, our jack stand and the uh, engine hoist are in deadly proximity. Dude, I'm not gonna lie. I think we might just have to keep on jacking her, you know? No, because the transmission, its engine's too angled. You actually might need to lower the engine, and I'm gonna jack up the transmission. And then we can try and slip her out, like, gently? Yeah. Dude, this motor is in great health. Like, looking at it from the outside, it's actually in really good condition. Well, that's good. Hopefully it doesn't blow up as soon as we put it in the E30, right? Do you want me to just try and cut uh, that piece? Try to pull the, uh... I bet. Yeah, right? I'm trying to see what it's really snagging on right now. Because it's not the I think, transmission. I think it's the transmission hitting the tunnel. It doesn't look like it really. Oh, hey, hey, oh. Yeah. There's something holding on over here. There's a ground right here that's holding on. Oh my god. There we go. Oh, there you go. That wasn't too bad. Now the whole motor will probably pull out. Watch. <laughs> that was it? That's hilarious. Here, hop in. It's free. 
free, yeah. Oh, it's a fuel line, dude. You want the snips? Yeah, do we need the fuel line? No, I don't need the fuel line. We're gonna replace the whole fuel line, I'd imagine, right? I, I mean, we could do it all with AN fittings and it would be fire. That's the way to do it. Wow. Dude, this thing is huge. It is huge, dude. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Uh, we're good. Okay. Can you just jack it up from the subframe? Probably. I would jack it up from the subframe so we could do it. We want this to go down straight. Yeah. I would actually do it from like the back of the subframe. Uh, tell me... Go... Just start pumping it up. Oh, your subframe's kind of jacked anyways. Yeah. Can you go a little more inward? Oh, I just stuck my hand in this juice. Good right here? Right there. Right there. Thank you, bro. Yeah. All right, I'm off the jack stand over here. You good? Yep. Yeah. Let's do it. Are we gonna, is this car low or, hold on. We gotta be off the engines. The You're engine gonna have course. to lower it a little bit and then tighten it back up. How come? Uh, just we'll lower the car a little bit at a time and pull the engine out a little bit at a time. Okay, I than it's ever been. <laughs> it's Aero Veloce powered. <laughs> Thanks, bro. Yeah, no problem. That's a meaty boy. That's a meaty boy. <laughs> Engine is out. And now the real fun starts. Oh, All right, Caden. So manifold, yeet. Getting yeet. rid of that. Uh, valve, valve cover, cover yeet. We're, so what are we replacing the valve cover with? We're getting an M56 valve cover because it's aluminum. It's not plastic like the stock M54 valve cover is. These tend to warp and turn into bullshit. Um, so we're going to get an M56 valve cover. We're going to get an M50 intake manifold. Uh, we're going to go with an RK tune because he's always done good work on my homie's cars. So we're going to do, we're going to go with him to get rid of all our EWS protection and get us that nice flame tune. Um, and then we're gonna stuff this in the E30 and have a good time. And transmission has to get the hell out of here. Yeah, That's transmission's it. going. Also, we gotta replace the uh, the oil pan with one out of the E34. E34. So we have to get an E34 oil pan and a E34 pickup tube, I believe. I'm gonna have to look into that again before we get moving further. Um, but all of that we can mostly do while the car is or while the motor's outside of a car. Um, these motor mounts, I think we have to switch with an E30. Uh, E36 motor mount arms, and then we can put E28 
bushings on it or we can go with condor solid bushings which i think is the route we're gonna go um all in all this is gonna turn out really real crazy um and i know we said it's gonna be a street car but it's definitely going to be a little, a bit, little excessive <laughs> a little bit more sporty for yeah. sure and then a, a lot of this front drive is going to go away too like we're not going to have the ac compressor anymore uh where's the power steering pump on this thing it's a good ask oh it's electric these oh. cars are electric so no power okay steering pump. uh and it's gonna well you're going completely manual steering yeah so we're going to take the actual we're actually going to take the steering rack out of the z4 because the uh, column is where the electric power steering motor is located. Um, so we're gonna take just the uh, rack out of the Z4 and we're gonna swap it into the E30. So that way we have a real close ratio uh, steering drive as well as a no power steering power or steering rack. Okay, okay. It's not a SEMA build. Like this isn't, we're not, this isn't the G5R Camaro. No, no. But. While we're here, we might as well clean things up and make them look as nice as possible. So we'll definitely, you know, clean up the engine. Like, so oh. any like pain mm. in the ass hardware is gonna get replaced with stainless hardware. We're gonna try and make everything as accessible and friendly as possible, really. A little upside down smiley face there. <laughs> make things a little more comfortable to service, especially because I want this car to be as serviceable as the E30 should be. Um, still with the M54 in it. And I think there's a lot of ways to make the M54 more serviceable, uh, mainly like the SAP delete, uh, just going with some catalyst headers, getting rid of all the EWS stuff, um, getting rid of the CCV with the M56 swap, getting rid of or relocating the ICV with the M50 intake manifold. Um, there's a lot of ways to make this motor much more serviceable, and we're going to do all of those. I want it to feel like an older motor with modern motor power. Okay. Do you wanna do you wanna paint the block? Like if we take it down apart and clean it up enough, just uh, maybe a little. Like it doesn't have to be super crazy, but that might look nice. Um, I think the look I'm kind of going for. I like the way. Honestly, I want to hit all this with a wire brush first. See how that comes out. Because um, the brushed aluminum and brushed stainless look has always been a nice touch for me. Mm -hmm. um, I definitely think once we do the M50 intake manifold and we have the throttle body coming off directly on the side here Ooh. instead of on the bottom Ooh, that'll look cool um i think we could do a nice pie cut intake elbow yeah that would look pretty good i think we could do some cool pie cut like radiator bits i think there's a lot of stuff we could do stainless as well as the headers which for this project are most likely going to have to be custom i know we can fit uh standard ebay m54 headers on this but i really do want to do six to one stainless headers so we'll see how that goes um Six to one stainless pie cut would be kind of my dream setup. That would be cool. That would be cool for sure. So now the jank is kind of over, right? Now yeah. we, we got to actually care about what we do. Yeah, we got to start giving it <laughs> no more snipping lines and all that. Actually, we have to get a motor out of a whole other car. Yeah, so. E30 is next. That's yeah. Right. So there might still be some jank in line. Uh, just as long as we keep that transmission in good health, we should be good because we got to trade this with that. See how that goes. Now this goes to the scrapyard. <laughs>